you like to say, on the front foot, while the Sixers were the reactionary team. And that's a bad position to be in. Muscala takes a dribble and hits the 12th triple tonight for the visitors. Well, they are lights out. And you can just chalk it up to bad luck, but I'm also of the belief you can do something about it here with 143 left to go in this third. Biggest lead of the night for the Thunder. They're up 17. Elton back to Joel. And has it stripped by Joe. Gotta be careful when you bring it down, especially around guards. Oh my god! Williams found by Shake, and you can hear the Sixers just frustrated. Here with about 24 to go in the third. Eric Lewis with that call along the baseline. Shake frustrated to say the least. Some new bodies coming in, Reed and Maxi for Joel and DeAnthony. Let's see if they can provide some energy, like you were saying. Well, there's plenty of time, right? The problem is you're down 17, and I don't see how you're what you changed to kind of curb this trend thus far. You've got to buck the trend by changing what's happening out on the floor. You've got to be the aggressive ones. You can't be reacting anymore. You've got to set the tone. Shot clock at two. Sixers. First on Paul, team's fifth, as you heard from PA announcer Matty Core. We'll get more than just the score, Sixers fans. Get Sixer game recaps, expert analysis, and video highlights. They're all waiting for you 24 7 on our website, NBCSportsPhiladelphia.com. Alexander now with 24, as you mentioned, so efficient tonight. 8 of 12, just 1 of 1 from 3, 7 of 7 now from the line, going along with 5 rebounds, 5 assists, a couple of blocks and a steal. He's given Thunder fans a lot to get excited about. Again, big man Chet Holmgren not playing this year, the number 2 overall pick. If you're paying attention to recent history, you tallied how well they played lately. So they shouldn't have come in here and caught you off guard. You should have known about their exploits and prepared for them when they came into town. Because this is one of those games where now we've got a big road trip ahead. And some guys, at times, it's human nature. you got one eye looking ahead instead of the task at hand. And sometimes games like this happen. Gilders Alexander up and in. 27 and counting for SGA. And the other night, we were really praising the Sixers for their maturity, being able to handle the Sixers Pistons the way they were supposed to. Well, now you've got to wonder where that maturity went because they were supposed to be able to dispatch these Thunder the same way, and they aren't. As you mentioned, still plenty of time. Foul on the floor. It's going to be on Trey Mann. Let's take another look at SGA. With the body control there. Able to just finish and flex a little, and why not, big fella? You're leading the better team right now on the night. Sixers did have the lead in this quarter, 75-73, but since then, a 28-7 Thunder run to press the 100-point mark already with 12 minutes, 16 and a half seconds to play. Again, within your reach, within your ability. Harden coming back in. James shooting very well so far tonight. Six to ten from the floor, five to seven from beyond. Four or five from the strike. He leads away for the Sixers with 21. Ball read out. Two second difference between the clocks. Being to inbound for the Sixers. Cut into this 19 point Thunder lead. Reese spins right towards a double. Tobias for three. Offensive rebound. 